Okay, guys, we're out here with the uh, X tool hooked to a 2012 Nissan Armada, and I was just wanting to go through and show you the the key programming ability. We're not going to program a key. We're just going to go through the options. I have not programmed a key yet with this tool, so I'm not. I don't want to say that it it will flawlessly program a key, but there is a unique feature that's nice about this tool. So we're going to go to special functions. We're going to go to key programming. Hit agree to that. Go down here to Nissan. This is the Xtool D8, by the way. And this is Nissan software 2712. Um, now you see that it's got a pin calculator. So if you hit that, you've got three different type of uh, pin codes right here. Type 1, 4 pin code, type 2, which is a 4 pin code, and type 3, which is a 20 pin code. It's got a help. If you click help, it kind of tells you about type 1 and type 2 and kind of what years either one of those would fall under. Now, with that said, and I'll go ahead and hit these just so you'll see what they look like, but type 1, 4 pin, it's asking please input BCM code. Uh, and we'll do that here in just a minute once I get the code. And I'll show you how we're going to get that. Type 2, 4 pin code, input the detail of the immobilizer label. So, if you had, if it said made in uh, Mexico, made in Germany, or made in Europe, that's what you would click there. And we'll just do the made in Mexico. Input the six digit code. The Germany, six digit code. Europe, six digit code. But you got to make sure that you click which one or where it was made. Uh, the type three. Input BCM code. Uh, so, now we're going to go to read BCM code and release steering lock. That's a four pin code. We're going to hit that. Brings us to read BCM code, release steering lock. Now, if I hit read BCM code, instantly tells me the BCM code. That's body control module. And old pin code, new pin code. So there's our pin codes. So no calculator needed, but if you wanted to use the calculator, if you knew the BCM code, 08A43. Zero, whoop, zero, eight, A, four, three. Hit OK. We got the old pin code, new pin code. My Autel will not pull pin codes. So that is something about this uh, unit that is very attractive right now. Now until I program a key I'm not going to be that impressed because even though I got a pin code if it doesn't successfully program a key then what good's the pin code, right? Uh, of course release steering lock require pin code to complete the following pin code can be calculated based on BCM code press OK to continue press cancel to return. If I hit OK it wants the pin code. So if I put the pin code in which is what, 7104. Seven one zero four. Whoop. Seven one zero four. And I just heard the uh, steering wheel lock release. So as you can see there, it says success. So. Uh, and then of course you got program keys. Select from type. You got immobilizer system, smart key system. If you hit immobilizer, you've got the different pin codes. Type one, type two. Uh, 
and I don't know which type this is. I just click type one. I don't even know if it's a type two. Uh, Seventy one oh four. You have the following procedures, it's gonna be started, blah blah blah. Uh of course clear trouble codes. Now if you there's the twelve pin code, type one and type two, twenty pin code, type one and type two. Smart key system, which is actually what this vehicle has. Got the four pin code, type one with slot and push button, type two. So you'd have to know which type you've got. 12 pin code, read number of keys, program keys, 20 pin code, type 1. Now replace it in ECU or program smart keys, type 2, program smart keys, type 3, program key. Uh, B18 chassis those are the options you got there so this actually has oh one more option here select from vehicle well if you click that you've got China only partially or Europe I don't know exactly what that means locksmith may be more up to speed on this than I am this is a US car so uh, I would think that you would select select from type and then you'd select the type of system that you're working with but for those of you that's going to plan on programming keys with this tool uh, at least now you kind of have an idea of what it may be able to do on Nissan vehicles uh, and then of course program remote you got type 1 program remote erase remotes and type 2 program remote erase remotes so that is under the uh, key programming now what I have noticed this is the only way you can get to the key programming part of this scan tool if you was to actually go in here and go to the module this is a Nissan. I was not able to find where to program keys under the module. Now, on the Autel, it's got, uh, oh, what's it say? Hot. I forget what it, what it says, but it's a shortcut to the immobilizer to where if you're going to program a key, it takes you pretty much straight there. This doesn't really have that. You either go into key programming or you go into the module well you got intelligent key so you would think that's where you would program a key which should be under special functions so you got some options here you got con you know as you can see confirm key fob ID take out from window warning uh, and the other options you got here I'm not going to go through each and every one of them but I'm just not seeing I'm just not seeing an option here for programming a key and I'm not seeing it anywhere else either uh, got intelligent key mobilizer unit See, live data, actuation test. It's not going to be under actuation test. Here's intelligent key here. Live data is all you got there. So, yeah. Uh, just not seeing it. So, just know that. If you're using this tool to program a key, you're going to want to go to special functions and go to key programming. You, you probably won't find it under the modules and again under key programming here's all the cars that you got it's a 
I mean, it's a lengthy selection. What they all are capable of doing, I don't know. I have a hard time believing that this scan tool for the price will actually program keys for every one of these cars. It, it might. I have programmed a Toyota key. My Autel also programs Toyota keys. Uh, but so far, that's the only key I've programmed using this tool is a Toyota. 2011 Toyota Tacoma. So, you know, just know that even though it may have the uh, manufacturer here, there's no guarantee that it's actually going to work. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the Nissan op part of the key programming options. So, anyway, that's about all I got for this one. This is the uh, X-Tool D8 scan tool. It's a relatively new scan tool. About $700. Uh, I'll put a link to it if you're interested in trying it out. I think for the price, it's going to be hard to beat. Uh, I will be doing side-by-side -side comparisons between this and the Autel MS906TS, which is my main scan tool. I've done a lot of walkthroughs on that scan tool, so if you take a look, if you want to see how this scan tool stacks up to the MS906TS, uh, look for the videos in the uh, library on my MS906. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. You guys take care. See you in the next one.